Thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is how to create transition animation in Adobe XD to Flutter plugin. And this plugin is just getting better and better. I'm going to show you a little demo on what we are going to do in this tutorial. Let's change our arrow transition over here. So for our transition of our back button, what we can do is we can slide right. So that means it will move from left to right. And then we can do a wind up with the duration one second. And then if you will export all widgets. So if you were to click on this back button, all right, you could see that the home screen just did a wind up one second animation without any code. That's amazing. So let's get started. All right, for this tutorial, what you need to do is download this wallet mobile app UI XD file. It is created by Florian Heisen and it is a very simple wallet mobile app. And in order for you to download, the download link is at the bottom right over here. I will put the download link in the description. So once you have downloaded, it will look something like this. The next thing is that make sure you have the Adobe XD package inside your PubSpec YAML and make sure you install it inside. So while it is installing, the next thing is that what we need is to unlock these three screens. And if you see at the top left, there is a lock icon. That means this screen is currently locked. If you can't see this lock icon, what you can do is you can press the command or control button and press the screen. So this will show the lock icon. So in order for you to unlock, just press the lock icon over here. Same goes to this wallet screen, unlock it. And lastly, the processing screen and unlock it. So once you unlock all of this, the next thing that you need to do is to select a project path. So click on this folder icon and click on the flutter project that you want the three app screens to render so i'll choose the adobe xd one so before we start what we need to do also is to make sure that you have the xd to flutter plugin make sure your adobe xd has been upgraded to the latest version then the next thing is you can just press the discover plugin and this is what it looks like and then you can type in Flutter, press enter, and then make sure you choose the XD to Flutter plugin. Don't forget to leave a rating. And then once you have downloaded, it will show up like this. And in order for you to play around with the Adobe XD to Flutter plugin, what you need to do is you can click on a UI panel. So the next thing is that make sure the code path links to the lib or library folder. So this is where all of these screens and widgets will be rendered in. So for the image path, currently, if you were to look at the layout screen, there isn't any images that we are going to import. So the components over here are SVG files that we are going to import. And then we have our color scheme and then we have our font styles over here. The next thing is that we have this widget name prefix. So this is the first name that's going to be rendered for our Flutter project for our app screens and components. So for example, you have this wallet mobile app. What we can do is we can type in wallet mobile. So once it rendered, for example, the home screen, it will render as the file name as wallet mobile home, wallet mobile wallet, and wallet mobile processing. So you can change the name accordingly. Now let's go to these settings over here. These are the things that I'm going to show you today. So there is this thing called prototype interactions. This tutorial is mainly on how to use the prototype interactions. And now what we are going to do, since this Adobe XD file just have these three screens, we can just export all of the widgets. Okay, so for now, we are not going to name our widget and at the same time, we are not going to do the prototype interactions first, but then we will export our color assets. So now we are ready to export all of our widgets. 
just click and export all widgets let's go back to our flutter project all right the next thing i want to show you is the home.dart so there's a lot of things that's going on but let's use the home.dart and render it so let's go home and then let's render open up the shortcut menu by pressing command dot or control dot and import the library package so once you save this and then after that you can just open in debug mode all right so now currently you could see that our app screen has been rendered very nicely over here so one thing to take note is that we have some ui kind of errors or overlaps so what we can do is that we can just remove the top part of this app screen over here if i were to bring my simulator over here so i'm going to demo you the live refresh on adobe xd so in order for you to see the hot reload when any ui changes happens inside adobe xd what you need to do is you need to go to settings and you have to choose this preview hot reload on safe watcher make sure you tick it or set it to true and you can see the magic when you have some ui changes and if you export the widget it will magically refresh the ui inside the simulator okay so now we have this grouping over here what we can do is we can hide this so you can just right click here and you can hide it over here and if you were to export all widgets you could see that there is no top bar over here it is just using the default simulator top bar that has been rendered that's great okay so the next thing that i want to show you is this prototype interactions what is this prototype interaction means if you were to go to the top left hand corner you can see there's three tabs design prototype and share so for design it is the basic design tools that you're going to use but for prototype you are able to make different interactions live within your app so usually for example if i have a user that press on a login button it will transit to the next screen which is the wallet screen so usually you can use the current tool that they have which is this desktop preview at the top right hand corner and this will open up a very nice simulator over here and if you were to click it it will transit with some animations to our wallet app so we can actually make the same animation into our simulator without touching any code so what we can do is so you see this blue circle with an arrow what you can do is you can drag it to the next screen and this signifies that the login button when pressed it will go to the next screen which is the wallet once you have linked the login button to the wallet screen the next thing that you need to do is to, you need to go to the flutter plugin and make sure that the prototype interactions is ticked then after that you can just export all widgets and this will just refresh the screen and then if you click on the login button it will transit to our wallet screen isn't that cool so now we are inside our wallet screen over here all right so the next thing is that we want our back button to work you can click on the back button over here you can just drag the arrow and then move it to the left so it points to the home screen and then if you were to export all widgets let's see if this works if you click on the back button oh no it doesn't work so why is that so so there is certain things that you have to debug inside the adobe xd so currently the arrow over here in the design it is on top of this layer so this layer is covering this back button so what you can do is that you can make the back button move forward so you can just click on bring to front so what bring to front means is that the arrow will be at the top of all of the different you could say widgets or components inside the app screen so inside our prototype all right so it looks good now we export all the widgets and let's see if it works if we click on the back button and now it works great so these are certain things that you have to make sure if you want to convert the adobe xd and make it interactive make sure the different components are stacked correctly the next thing is that you can change the animation of your transition so for example the login over here you can see there is this type that says transition 
Then there is the wallet destination and you can see the animation. So there is different animations for your transition. So there's slide left or push left or slide down and push up. So I'm going to do slide left. Then the next thing is that you see this easing. This is how your animation will look like. So if it bounces or it snaps or is in or out. So let's do is in and out. At the same time, you can change your duration. So it can be 0 0.8 seconds or you can make it snappy like 0 0.2 seconds. So let's do 0 0.4 seconds. If you were to export all of the widgets, now you could see the different animation. Let's click on login. All right, so now our login has made the transition to slide left. Let's change our arrow transition over here. So for our transition of our back button, what we can do is we can slide right. So that means it will move from left to right. And then we can do a wind up with the duration one second. And then if you will export all widgets, so basically when you export all widgets, it refreshes, but it doesn't hot reload. So if you were to click on this back button, all right, you could see that the home screen just did a wind up one second animation. So that's about it for this tutorial. Now you can just create different transitions with your different screens. You can try out the different animations and at the same time, you can try out the different easing here and there. So in summary, we have learned on how to create transition animations from one app screen to the other without coding any single line of code. And that's amazing. And that really makes you more productive. However, I think that this is a good start, but it doesn't replace the whole mobile development because you first need to make sure that the app screen is responsive in different screen types and sizes. And secondly, if you are dependent or heavily dependent on the animation that Adobe XD has created for you, then make sure that you understand it because sometimes you need different animations for different transitions. But overall, I think the Adobe XD plugin is amazing but not perfect. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of these Adobe XD videos, subscribe down below and comment down on what you think you want to look forward in Adobe XD. So that's about it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.